What is Gucci, everybody? How are you doing? It feels like it's been a long time since I made a video. I've gotten really into Swift development lately while I've been looking for a job. Fingers crossed. But in this video, what I want to discuss is multiple threads in Swift. So if you want to make your application really efficient and say, while you're waiting for an image, uh, do some other work on your app while, for, in for instance, download an image while maybe doing some math to um, work on your slide view, can work on your slides or calculate the 20 millionth digit a pi, you can do that with multiple threads and you can do that without having to wait for the downloading to complete to start your math operations or the math operations to complete before you start downloading content from the web. And this can be used really easily with either two things. It can be used with used either with, with GCD, which stands for Grand Central Dispatch, which is the low level way of deploying threads, or you can use the NS operation queue. And that is a high level abstraction. The easiest way Apple, the people, <laughs> Apple has made it for you to use threads. And so in this video, I'm going to show you that. And so we're going to start by going to Xcode. And we're going to make a new project. We're going to make a new app. And we're not, it's not actually going to be really app ready. But I'm going to leave you with enough to kind of start your own app. So we're going to do a single view application. And we're just, I'm just going to call it NS Op. And I'm going to make sure it's Swift, not Objective-C, because I do do Objective-C too. And I'm going to create it and save it anywhere. And so with my new project, I'm just going to go straight to my view controller. And so the way the NS Operation Queue works, I'll have notes and links below. You can also Google NS Operation Queue, is that all you have to do is either de is define your own NS operation and then add that to the NS operation queue. A queue is a line for people you don't know. So it's, it's a line like you see at the supermarket where the first person in the queue in the line gets served first and the last person in the queue gets served last, just like a line. So, you know, first come, first serve, first in, first out, FIFO, as it's known in computer programming. So what we can do here is in our view did load method, which is called when this view controller is loaded, which will be default, we can create a queue. We're going to create a queue. I'm going to create an NS operation queue. And that's all we're going to do for now. We're just going to create a simple basic operation queue and that's ready to go. And if you want to, you can command click on the class for more info on it. And you can look at the very, you can look at the operations. And so what we're going to focus on, actually the only thing we're going to focus on is this add operation method. And so when we add this operation method to the queue, it's automatically going to be kicked off. And so we need to define an NS operation and what we want it to do when we want it to get kicked off, when we want our threads to run it. So we're going to do this. We're going to add, we're going to do this by making an NS operation. And we're going to make this down below. And so we're going to make another class and we'll just call it op, OP. And that's going to be, and that's going to subclass NS operation, which I'm going to defer by the colon. And I have my NS operation and there we go. And so now we can do command click on NS operation to see a lot of other, to see the classes that we can use. So one thing that we want to cover really here is main. So main is what, when I add this to the queue, to the NS operation queue, main is the method that the NS operation is going to run when it gets a thread, when it's put on, when it is put on another thread to run. And this will be run asynchronously from, asynchronously from your current thread. So if you put two things on if you put two things on the queue, the first thing will, will be put on a thread and the second thing will be put on a different thread. But you don't know, for instance, you can never be certain which thread will finish first or rely on the order of those threads, of the execution of those operations for your program. So whatever you put on the queue should be independent of everything else on the queue. It shouldn't matter if another value has updated. That would require locks and mutexes. So what we can do here is we're going to override the function main. You need that override method. You can just type in main and, it will, and Xcode will put it out. We'll make the method name for you. You're going to override that main function. And so now all we're going to do is we're going to have a print line and we're going to call it, and we're just going to say um, thread main done. And so we're just going to have a very simple print line here. And that's all it's going to do is it's going to print out that thread. And I'm making this very simple because I want to illustrate to you that it can get pretty crazy pretty quickly. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to declare a for loop 
and I'm gonna make this for loop go a thousand times and we're gonna get some crazy output as you see and I'm gonna have it increment by one and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna have the queue add an operation every time it goes through the loop I'm gonna have it add an operation and I'm gonna have it add the op, the op that we made and since this subclass is NS operation, I can add it to the queue because the queue only takes NS operations. So now I'm going to run the app. I can either type com um, press command R or click the play button in the upper left corner to do that. And let me get up, wait for my simulator to come up here. And here we go. So now I have NS op and it's going to be a blank screen because, well, we haven't done anything. But the bigger thing to look at is all our output. So. If you look at here, we have some crazy output. And this is the most important thing to get about NS operation that I touched on before, but I want to make it crystal clear is that you do not know the order or how fast or how slow each thread will execute. So the queue, every time you put a new operation on the queue, that operation gets sent to another thread different than the previous one. So the queue does a very good job, it says this in the Apple Docs, of making sure that each operation is, is running on a new thread and you don't put a lot of operations on one single thread so it slows down. So as you can see here, some of it's running so fast that thread main done doesn't actually get printed out in whole. Before it gets printed out, another thread is printing out its characters and they clash together resulting in this crazy text that is printed out a thousand times. So somewhere there, there's maybe a thousand there are dones, but it's all scattered and such because the threads are running in different orders. So you wanna make sure that you can you do a certain thing. So each operation should have its own task and probably within itself that doesn't interfere with other tasks. So if you were updating a global variable or a variable that they shared, this would be very bad because you wouldn't know if one, if a thread had ran yet or if it had already run without um, doing locks, which we're not covering in this video. And is a little bit is not as hard is a little bit harder to do because you want to actually use Grand Central Dispatch for that. Okay, and so since we've subclassed op here, I want to show you the true power of it. So we've subclassed operation. And because we've subclassed it through the power of subclassing, we can do anything we want. We can add variables. So we can make this op take a name variable and we can have it print out the name. And we'll make it, we'll do that now. And now we can make, we can also make op take an init method and I can make it take a string n that I will make equal to the name. And then, so then when I declare op here, I can then call it a different name and boom. And then I could have it and then I could print out the name right here. And then I could call any name I want. Actually, I could do AJ and I could do slash I right here. And then again, I'll get some crazy text because it won't because Oh, the reason because there's already a variable called name. So we're going to do first name. The reason because I did that is, yeah, there's already a variable called first name, which is in this class and its operation. I believe so. Yeah, it's right there. So I can't, I can't, so I can't make another variable called name because it's already in my super class, my parent class. And so I need to make it called first name. And then if I put that there, put that there. I'll get some crazy text and my build will succeed if I so I ran the app again and look over down here to the other text and everything I've got some full printouts but then everything's going crazy so if you want to do a math calculation and then finish it on its own that's okay so now we're gonna get into another we're gonna get into probably another main reason you would use the main queue you would use the NS operation queue. So obviously you know how to do things on their own time. So if you have an operation you want done on its own and it's not reflecting of anything else, you can just do it. But there's one big thing I neglected to mention that I want to tell you guys. And what that is, is how to update UI. So how to update a label or how to update something else. 
So to update the UI or the graphical interface, you know, whatever you see on your simulator or your iPhone, you can only do that in one thread. You can only do that in the main thread. And the main thread is started when you start your application by default. You don't need to do anything. The app delegate automatically starts it up. And so you can only update the UI on one thread concurrently. So you have to update your UI in order. And so since you only have one thread to do that, you can't update your, you can't update the UI or like a labels text or any colors or any kind of sizes without accessing the main thread. So how do you do that in this operation? So one thing very simple in your main method, you could make a main queue and what you can do is call NS operation queue dot main queue. And so this will get you the main queue. This will get you the queue. The, this will just, any operations you add to this queue will be put to the main thread. So for instance, you could, you could now add an operation. You could now send an operation to update a label, which you could simply, which you can make another subclass for an operation of or something else. So it's really nice to apply that knowledge. And if you wanted to, you guys could use your knowledge to create a label in the view controller and then pass in that label to this NS operation and then update that label through the main queue. Pretty nice. Whenever your NS operation counts to something and then you could see it change all those different times. So that's really cool. So know how to use the main queue. Use the main queue the same way. You just have to call that dot main queue method to get the main queue. And then once you get that main queue, you can just add an operation to it like always. So that's multi that's pretty simple multi-threading in Swift. Just make sure not to use this not to share variables across the threads because because you'll never be sure what state it's in. Unless you check for it explicitly. Have a good day, guys. And you know, stay Gucci, smile more, and uh, try to get as many subscribers as PewDiePie. See ya. Thank you.